Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Omni Viewer, and I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I needed some time to really figure out how I feel about the new trailer for Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, I am a huge fan of the original Pacific Rim. If you watched my 16 best kaiju movies of all time, you'll see that I ranked it pretty high on that list. And I have admittedly been of somewhat mixed feelings regarding the possibility of a sequel. On the one hand, as a fan of Pacific Rim, a part of me really loves the idea that we'll get more Pacific Rim. On the other hand though, the original movie didn't really leave much room for a sequel. So a part of me has been wondering if the Pacific Rim franchise is going to go the route of Highlander or Dragonheart. Well, now we've got the second trailer for Uprising, and while it doesn't necessarily look like it's going to be bad, I'm feeling a little skeptical towards it now because it looks a little... Transformers-y. And I'm not referring to the fact that they have Jaegers fighting Jaegers and therefore it's giant robots fighting giant robots. That doesn't inform this at all. Actually, I'm rather intrigued to see what happens when a Jaeger fights a Jaeger. I'm talking more about the execution. The original Pacific Rim had a very deliberate style. The cinematography made a point of emphasizing the scale of the Jaegers and Kaiju, who always felt like they had real mass to them. And, with very few exceptions, the camera was generally positioned in such a way that you could easily achieve the same shot with live action. There were no wide, sweeping shots that circle all the way around and try to look impressive. They didn't need that. What was on screen was already impressive enough. With the new trailer, the camera just can't seem to sit still. That one money shot towards the end of all the different Jaegers honestly felt like it was a camera attached to a hummingbird investigating flowers. Not to mention the camera was pulled back in such a way that really de-emphasizes the scale. The Kaiju and the Jaegers, especially the Jaegers, are moving around much faster, very much like the Autobots and Decepticons in the Michael Bay movies. So the sense of scale is completely gone. And as for the Kaiju, again, the first movie made a point of having the Kaiju designs be very specific. The main direction was to design something which could potentially also work as a man in a suit. And when you look at these designs, yeah, the proportions are slightly altered, but it doesn't take much imagination to think, yeah, I could see that being done as a rubber suit. The new kaiju designs feel like they've kind of thrown that idea out the window. Look at them. They're just so big, so misshapen. They can't stand alongside a classic kaiju look as the previous movie's kaiju could. Now, does this mean that I'm suddenly dreading the movie? Well, not necessarily, but my skepticism has increased exponentially. Like I said, this feels Transformers-y, and it really shouldn't. Whether or not you even like the Transformers movies, that's immaterial. The reason Pacific Rim shouldn't feel like Transformers is because Pacific Rim and Transformers are two completely different things. Pacific Rim has its own style, and this sequel seems to have abandoned it. Mind you, I hope I'm wrong. I don't want this movie to fail. I just can't shake the feeling that maybe it's not going to measure up. And that would be a real shame, too. Well, I'm still gonna be in the theater to check it out no matter what. So those are my thoughts, and as always, you are welcome to leave yours in the comments section below. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer, signing off.